we doing everybody? Let me try to turn this down a little bit. So today we are going to play Return to Dark Tower. Uh, kind of have a bunch of stuff already set up because, uh, uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of technical stuff that needs to be set up and I don't want to, uh, it's already told me that my batteries are low and it may mess up the, uh, the tower a little bit. So if that happens, I'll, uh, I'll just start the, I'll just pause the video and we'll start over, um, or just pause and then take the, take care of the technical stuff and move on. So anyway, I'll just uh, go through the setup very quickly. So I picked my character first, which is over here. Uh, then you pick the location, uh, the starting location. I just picked the same color just to make it easy. Uh, and so he is in the east. Um, so I'm going to start him. Um, I can start him in any place in the east, but we'll talk about that in a second. And uh, then we have this special haggle die. We'll go through that. Once we actually do it, in fact, I'll give it a shot even if I don't want to. Uh, my treasures are set up here uh, with three laid out. Uh, then I have my potion deck uh, and uh, my quest deck and my corruptions. And I took out uh, with the uh, gear cards. There's only, uh, I think, six cards here. And then there's multiple copies of them, but you're only allowed to have one. Uh, and they're supposed to be laid out, so you can pick whatever you want. And uh, but I think you only can have one. I'm just doesn't matter. I can just uh, I'll just look through that deck when I get a gear. Uh, then over here, uh, I have my you know the people deck. Uh, you'll be able to get your allies. And uh, then I have my quests over here. But the machine will tell me the app will tell me what uh, what app or what we're going to supposed to use. And then over here. Uh, as you can see, I took the buildings, and all I do is I match them. Uh, you can see that they're Sanctuary, Bazaar, etc. And on my map sheet, it tells me that if I'm at a Citadel, uh, I get a, a free potion. If I'm at a Sanctuary, uh, I gain um, a free... Uh, I forgot what the actual word is called for the blue ones, the blue drops. Um, and Village gives me... Uh, and you know, army or soldiers, um, and uh, and then the bazaar, I gain a gear, which is what that uh, open deck is. All right, and then I can pay uh, the blues to get additional things there as well. And it's going to put enemies on the track, and I'm going to be picking enemies and things like that. So that's the part I haven't done yet, just because the machine will tell me, uh, you know, when I should be picking. Uh, characters out or villains out so there's different types of villains so I'm just gonna lay these out real quick and uh, so when I pick because it'll tell me what I'm allowed to pick in each area all right so we'll do that real quick as well but we're gonna play cooperative and I'm definitely not playing gritty difficulty and I don't have the expansion and I'm gonna continue and it says one player And then um, I have different things I can do. Raise an outlaw army. Beseech the gods of light. Destroy the evil relics. Assemble an army of trees. De delve the three dungeons. Forge an alchemy. Make a deal with darkness. Break Grigor's uh, ensconcement. Recover as those treasure. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is the evil relics. Well, uh, Astrider sows fire and chaos and adds skulls to buildings and can even set the rivers on fire. You will need the river of fire tokens for this game. All right, I'm going to keep those in the box for right now. But these are the rivers of fire, and I assume that they were going to probably go over the rivers. <laughs> so, especially when there's four of them, and there's four rivers. So, that makes sense. So, we'll just keep those to the side. So, when we need them. Alright, so, select a level uh, 2 foe. 
So the Spine Fiends, the Oryx, the Brigands, uh, and the Shadow Wolves. Um, so I think I'm going to take the Oryx. Um, I need to see the pile that are in here. Here's the Brigands. Oryx. I don't know how many there are of each. There's two of them. Not the Brigands. Oryx. I got three of them. Out of the whole bunch of brigands. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, only four. Only four of those. So let's uh, put them over there on the side. Uh, so it won't be the brigands. Let's see, the orcs. Um... Okay. So I'm going to continue. Oh, I can't. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's put the brigands back and they probably put, can put the shadow wolves back as well. I won't need those. Or the spine fiends. There's another auric. Okay. Shadow walls, etc. Okay. So let's see what the next one is. The next one is the Frost Trolls, the Lemur. The clan of Nuri or the thing. So I'm going to do the Frost Troll. So let's see what we got. Two Frost Trolls. Uh, let's see if there's any more. So it's one, two, three, four, five Lemurs. And one, two, three. Clan There's another Oric, so I'll, I'll take that out. That over there. Um, I'm only seeing two frost trolls, three frost trolls, okay. Okay, there's three frost trolls. Alright. I just put everything back that we've uh, that we've kind of gone through already. Here's another frost troll. Okay, so now we go on to the third one. All right, so we have dragon, mormu, striga, and titan. Um. I'm going to take these red ones out because they might pop up in the game at another time as bosses. So I'm just going to take those out. Okay, so we have uh, Mormu, Dragon, Titan. I think I'm going to take the Titan. Is there more than one Titan? There's another Brigand. Um, Mormo, 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 Striga, Striga. Is there only one Titan? That's weird. I don't see any other yellows. Yeah, there's only two Strigas. That means he's going to be really hard. All right, let's take him. If another one pops up, I can't Let me make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So let's close this up. 
it should tell you how many, because they, they're all different, how many uh, tokens there are. So it should tell you. Um, and the other tokens I have here, just uh, FYI. So I'm going to continue that. So here's the, the different uh, dungeons and things to that effect. So I'm going to put those over here as well because those are going to pop up during the game. And then I just have my supply of warriors and faith or whatever these are. And these have to do with uh, the villains in some way. Um, so I'll hold these because I don't know if I'll, uh, what I'm going to use there and what I'm not. Okay? So uh, place two skulls in each sanctuary and bazaar. There's only 25 skulls here, and you can only have three on each building. If you get a fourth one, the building is destroyed and you get corruption. Uh, See, so if I have two corruption spaces here, if I have, uh, if you gain a third corruption, the game is over. You lose. All right. In each uh, sanctuary and each bazaar. So there's. Uh, so I'm looking at the triangle and the old. Okay, there's the triangle, there's the oval, and there's another triangle. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes sense because it's four of each. All right, so done. Take the four river of fire tokens uh, from the box. I did that. The first player gains Miris as a companion. Let's see. Okay. So there's Miris. So uh, I think it's I think it's female. So she uh, Yeah, on the back it says uh, as a main companion destroy the relics. Three caravans carry evil relics, sneak into the caravans and destroy the relics before they reach the tower. Okay, if you end your turn in the grasslands, uh, gain six warriors, and she has the automatic advantage of uh, two wild advantages in the grasslands, and I also have a wild, two wild in the hills, but... Um, Right, so I have two plus wilds in the hills, and then I have plus two in the grasslands. So that's actually pretty good. So I kind of want to start um, in the sanctuary. I think I should have checked that up front, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, sanctuaries give me... Uh, I gain one. Okay. So, and also gives me a start. I start with seven warriors and only one... Uh, blue. All right. So I'm going to put the Oryx in the Jewel Hills. All right. So we'll put one Oryx in the Jewel Hills on the east, which is right here. And the reason I have east facing me is because we're going to remove these and these are going to affect me. Uh, the oryx go in, a, in southern wastes. All right, so there's the south. I'm going to be there. And then they're going to be in the west in the Loon Knight Hills. They're all over the place. So the west uh, is over here, uh, right there. Oh, we got a frost troll. That's awesome. Uh, and he's going to be in the north, in the upper ice fangs. It's right there. Okay, I guess we're ready to start. 
Destroy the evil relics. Three caravans carry relics to the tower. Sneak into each caravan. Destroy its relic before it can be delivered. Caravans are dungeons that move toward the tower. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how dungeons move, but whatever. Uh, complete each caravan dungeon to destroy the relic. If a caravan reaches the tower, heroes will gain a corruption. Quest at Mira's camp uh, in bleak wastes after you have destroyed all three relics. Okay, so the end. I'm going to use this one as the end. Um... Uh, and bleak wastes in the east. Okay. So that's my end goal. Alright, we're doing a dungeon spawn. And Egan's end in the north. Uh, see, this is why I gotta find these... Uh, I don't know if I have one that looks exactly like that. No, I don't. Um, dungeon spawn. Doesn't tell me which one. Oh, I guess I just use this. Yeah, okay, Egan's End. That's not far from me. Uh, dungeon Spawn in Dubai. I guess I put this here. Uh, in the East. Oh, okay, that's, that's right near, right near me. Well, I've run out of those things. Um... So I guess I just have to take one of these. Um, in the west in Delsmere. So I guess I just use the tomb. Uh, Delsmere is green. In the west. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong section. Uh, Delsmere is, is green. Western Caravan... A oh, Western Caravan, it's called. I'm confused about where that. That's definitely West. Western Caravan. Delsmere. I don't see it. Oh, Delsmere, right there. Okay. Northern Caravan. Okay, I will put these to the side. And, uh... <coughs> so I have, basically have... Th okay, month one. So there's no quest for this one, so I may have to move these around. Um... Okay, so I have, here's what I get at the beginning of my turn, as part of his banner action, which is up here. So it, it just, all you have to do is basically go down the list here, and that's your turn. Alright, so my banner action is I get five warriors right off the bat. My problem is that I don't get any of the blues. Okay, so my blue is going to be in deficit throughout this entire game. So I, uh, I am going to use um, the Sanctuary here, and for free, I'm going to do um, I'm going to get one blue. So basically, I'm doing my Reinforce action first. Uh, you can also break your movement up. And I can also double my movement by paying a blue. Okay, so for my next action, I'm going to cleanse. 
So by cleansing, I can remove all skulls in the space that I'm in. Uh, now my reinforce action, uh, I could gain one virtue, but I need five blues for that. And I don't have it. Uh, I also get plus one, automatically get plus one melee. Anything that has a black with a advantage in it, and I'll show you how advantages work when we go into battle. Um, and I get plus one wild advantage when you battle. Okay. So he's all about battling. So anyway, so uh, there anything that's in gray, I have to, uh, you only get one shot at it and you have to um, return it to the deck or to the box or whatever. All right, so that's it. Uh, I did a cleanse. I didn't move yet. So I did a reinforce action. I did a cleanse action, but I did not move. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to move. I could either get rid of the the Oryx there, or I can start getting rid of this. So the, the villains aren't too strong yet, so I think I'm going to go right to the right to the dungeon. Alright, and that's questing. That's a questing action. And uh, so that's it. That's all I've done. So, oh, look, Ash Rider is going to be my villain. So I might as well Oh he's right on top anyway. Okay, I'll just leave him over there. Um so there's no task this month. There's no task for that. Our main goal. All right. So we are going to place, every time it's the end of the round, I'm going to place one in the middle. Oh, wow. Did you see that? <laughs> it literally jumped out and went back on here. But I'm not, uh, I get to place it wherever I want. So I'm going to place it in the bazaar. Now, why did I do that? Because when I cleanse, I can get rid of all of them. If I have them all scattered all over the place, it makes it more difficult. Uh, I mean, technically, I could have put it here. So I could cleanse. Because um, I can't quest then. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. The tower awakens. The strider ignores uh, the waters of the land. Put a river of fire token on a river of your choice. Okay, so here's the river of fire. And uh, when I cross the river, I lose six warriors. All I can say to that is, wow! So we're going to place it over here. Wow, the month ended already. That was the quickest month ever. New quest. Uh, Maris knows the legendary craftsmen, craftsmen who have as a unique set of tools and well suited to defeat the caravans. Convince him to part with them to aid your cause. Quest in Howling Desert. And spend two spirit, that's what they call spirit, to gain the tools of the Saboteur quest item. Quest in the Howling Desert Hills in the south. All right, so I'm going to move this one. I'll put this here. Uh, in the Howling Deserts in the south. The Strider sends its agents to work. Uh, you must stop them. Quest in the Emerald Expanse in the south. All right, so I guess I'm moving this one too. All 
All right, so this is the uh, Emerald Expanse. They're right next to one another. And use three magic advantage or a strider will ignite the rivers. Oh, no. Three magic advantage. I don't have any magic advantage. Uh, but it is in the grasslands, right? Yeah. So I get uh, two wild advantage in the grasslands. That's all I have. I have to spend three. I need another wild advantage. This one's got magic advantage. So that's where you get the items and stuff like that. But you see how this one's gray and these are black. So that's how that works. So I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of afraid <laughs> to jump in here now when I should be going that way. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I kind of think I need to, to do that. And there's no hmm I don't know should I jump in here real quick just to see what it's in there let's do it Let me see something if there's I don't think I saw one that said car okay here's no okay northern caravan I think I actually used one that said caravan nope it's a tune eastern cav caravan okay western caravan okay so these are the ones I should be using so here's the eastern one here's the northern one And here's the Western one. These are the tokens I should be using. And it'll tell me right on there, Melee and Beast. So maybe I will jump in there into the Eastern one. All right. Choose your path. Well, I can only go there. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, so I'm in the grasslands, so I use one wild here in the grasslands. I also have one melee advantage, which this says here. So I'll use the melee advantage. So I have two advantages left because I'm in the grasslands. So I have two left. Lose one spirit. All right, I'll do that. I'll lose one spirit. these out. All right, continue. So now I have a branch. See that? Lose one gear and one potion. I have neither, so I, I need to apply uh, one of my advantages. So I get, I'm going to apply one uh, from Miris. All 
I really think I should exit the dungeon at this point. I have one advantage left. That's all I have. Lose four warriors for each skull or... Oh, I'm lucky I didn't put the skull there. Lose four warriors for each skull on uh, or adjacent to your space. Uh, I don't have any. Lose four warriors. Uh, there's nothing adjacent and there's nothing in my space. I don't lose anything. So I'll continue. Hmm. Do I go up or do I go down? Mounted scouts. Lose one spirit. I really needed that one though. I'll lose it. Dragoons. Lose two gear. All right, I have to use my last advantage. See, it says three advantages applied. I have I have to get out. I have no more advantages. So if I don't uh, get out, then I will uh, probably take a corruption, which I don't want to do. So I have to exit the dungeon. Uh, I'm in the uh, bazaar. I can gain one gear for free. And I have no spirit, so I can't do anything else. But let me see what kind of gear I have here. Um, your base move is plus one. Plus one stealth advantage. Plus one melee advantage. Prevent up to two uh, losses from your warriors. After you reinforce, remove one skill, a skull from a building on your space. Plus one magic advantage. And that's it. So, gear is not going to help me. So, what I could do... What's the bazaar give me? Oh, that's... Oh, I'm in a village. Gives me six warriors. Oh, I didn't get my five warriors from uh, from my banner. See, I kind of wish I was... Uh... But yeah, but if I get a gear, then uh, when I lose a gear later... Hmm. That's in the grasslands. So I already I get two wild advantage for that. And the, the Sanctuary, I get a free thing. That's where I was when I started. One, two, three. One, two, three. I hate to... What's the bizarre give me again? A gear. All right, let's just go there. So that's two. I'll gain a free gear. And I think I'm going to take the movement. Which I think you can use right away. But. So right now I've moved. One, two, I've reinforced. Three, four. And I think that's the end of my turn. Oh, no. Well, North is in trouble here. we got a lot of stuff going on in the North. A middle seal is about to be broken. Uh, look at the tower after pressing reveal and remove the glowing seal. Which you're not going to be able to see on your side because you've got to top down. The middle seal is broken. Let's see what's lit up. 
this one here, which doesn't affect me because it's not facing towards me. So I just take the little door off. All right. Scouts believe they will soon raid down on a citadel. All right. Okay, so Sanctuary. I gain, uh, so at the beginning of my turn, so I'll gain five more soldiers. So that's why I never really have to go to a village. Because I constantly get soldiers. So I'm building up my army right now as I'm moving around. Um... So what I can probably do, but cleansing. So let's see, I'm at, I'm at the sanctuary. So I gain a free thing. Or I can go to, yeah, but I don't need anything at the village. So I'm going to gain a free spirit. And I'm going to go one, two, three here. And I need to see the quests. <laughs> Quest in the Howling Desert? That's not it. But I could have also gone, no. Fire water. Use three magic advantage. I don't, I don't have it. Um, I need... I need magic. So where do I get... I need two to gain a treasure in the bazaar. Shoot them at the bazaar. I don't have... I don't have two. Alright, so... I need a sanctuary. Oh, I was there. I may have to sit. All right, it's because I did my reinforce action already, I gained the thing, and then I moved. So what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cleanse and sit. Because I need to buy that magic. Right? Isn't that what I need? Any magic? Yep. So I'll get a wild, and then I'll get a magic if I can get that gear. All right, so I'm going to cleanse, and that's the end of my turn because I have to sit there. Ouch. Getting to be a problem. It says the tower is rotating. Oryx Strike, place a skull on one building in each kingdom that has at least one Oryx. Oh my god, this is a... <laughs> uh, place a skull on one building in each kingdom that has at least one Oryx. Well, I didn't kill any Oryx yet. Oh my god, this, the north is in big trouble. Oh, I don't, okay, that one, that one has a fire troll. doesn't have an orc. This one does. 
Okay. All right. Let's complete this quest finally. Get my five guys. So I, yeah, traveling around those things is not going to be as difficult for me. So I'm going to gain one for that. And I don't have any corruption anyway, so I'm going to move three. Um, and, uh, oh, I can't reinforce twice. Yep, cost two. So I can't reinforce twice. But uh, I wish there was a gear. Because let's see, I'm in the bazaar. I gained one gear for that. Oh, wait. One magic. That's all I need is three, right? Because I'm in the grasslands. So let's do that instead. I'll give this back. So instead of, re uh, instead of reinforcing here, I'll reinforce there. And I'll get a gear. And I can't get the treasure. But I do have three now. And I, so I moved, I reinforced, but I haven't done a hero action yet. So I will quest, use three magic advantage. So one here, which is black. So that stays there. And one, um, and then two from uh, Miras and the Grasslands. So that one's done. Okay, so that's off the board. Put that up there. You stop the fire uh, spell workers from turning water to fire. River fire tokens are not placed on rivers. I I have to spend two spirit in the Howling Plains. Damn it, man. I'm where do I get the spirit from the sanctuary, right? So I gotta move back over here. <laughs> and then move back over there. That's two turns. Actually, I think, I think the gear, I think I do use it. I think I do use it. Um, wow, this is a dilemma. I mean, he just has no spirit whatsoever and never gets it. I don't know. This is going to be this is going to be a problem. Okay. So I think that's the end of my turn cuz I moved, I quested, yeah. Oh no. It's right in front of me. Oh, shoot. That's the worst thing that could have happened to me. I have to spend one spirit now to get a, to use my banner action. So I won't be getting any more, uh, any more soldiers. Let 
Wow. That's bad. Move all Oryx up to two spaces. And the reason I did that is because I could just battle them without moving. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it up here. All right. Place two skulls on a citadel in your current kingdom. Forest Troll and Iron Tops in the south. I I don't know what to do here. <laughs> this is too much going on. All right. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to gain one for my reinforce. So now I have two. And I'm going to battle the Oryx. Alright, and I think... And it's melee. So I have I have one advantage for melee. And I have one advantage in battle. And I don't have anything in the desert. So. I wonder how many I have to choose. Two. Lose two spirit. No. I'm not losing my spirit. So. That's one. I have one melee. I only have two. Shoot. Gain one spirit. Awesome. So I gain one. But I use two out of the three advantages that I... No, I, I use all my advantages. I have no advantages. So whatever happens next, I have to take it. Lose one gear or five warriors. I will lose my five warriors. Okay, and that's how battling works, right there. Alright, so the Orlix is done. He's out of there. Alright, so I have now reinforced. Uh, I moved, although I have another movement. Right, because I went one, two, three, and I have four movement due to my, my map. So I need to do this. So I'm going to move here. Oh, maybe not. Because I can reinforce there. What's at the Citadel? Gain one potion. And also with five, I gain a virtue. There's no way. After you battle, if you lost 10 or more, you gain a treasure from the market. Uh, if you double your move, gain 1 plus 1 wild advantage. Uh, after you reinforce, also gain two, 6 soldiers. That's good to have now because I'm not going to get my banner stuff anymore. I 
Okay, so uh, that's the end. Um, I just I was deciding whether I was going to move one more, but I think I need to gain another spirit before heading out to the last thing there. I, I think that's the case. I think I'm going to stay there. Oh my god! I'm only I'm down. <sighs> I'm down to only three skulls. Shoot. Move each caravan one space closer to the tower. Then for each caravan adjacent to the tower, each player gains a corruption. Whoa. All right, so I'm going to gain my thing and my reinforce action. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to quest. Oh, I wonder if that counts as a quest. It doesn't count as a quest. Companion quests. Complete a quest. Yeah. Uh, the craftsman gives you the tools and wishes you to ever gain the tools of saboteur quest item. Quest item. Tools of Saboteur. Tools of the Saboteur. Oh, plus three wild advantage against caravans. Okay. So I reinforced, I moved, and I quested. That's all I can do. And I'm going to have to start cleansing. I mean, this is bad. I think I'm going to start using this dye. Uh, so what you do is when you reinforce, you can say, roll this die. And if you get this dude, which always comes up for me, you don't get anything. Uh, but if you get something else, yeah, see, he always, I think it's weighted. Uh, so this gives me a gear. He always, he always comes up gear. Uh, that gives me a couple of warriors. So he always comes up. Look at that. That's why I don't use that thing. Because uh, the other guy always comes up and I get nothing. All right. I have to start. The tower is about to rotate. Put any number of treasures from the market on the bottom of the treasure deck and then refill the market. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this advantage in the lakes because I don't have anything going on in the lakes. And then we have more in the grasslands. All right. The power of six have increased. You have changed status to ready advantage, ready set to savage. Their battle cards are more difficult. You will need more advantages to avoid losses. Well, I'm lucky I did the, the quest there. Quest in the Forest of Shades. Okay, yeah, this comes off. Uh, in the Forest of Shades, to spend 18 warriors to gain Thomas as a companion. In the East. Uh, 
Uh, let me just see what he does. Do not need to spend spirit to double move, and I get plus two stealth. Okay. Uh, arsonists in the tower uh, sow chaos in the bazaars. They're not stopped. The flow of goods through the land will be disrupted. Quest in dayside. And spend 18 warriors or the or the treasure mark will be permanently reduced. Okay. Day side of the north. Oh, bit, yeah, day side. Okay, naturally that's where the water is. <laughs> I just took a water thing out. Okay, so here's my problem. I have two things I have to do there. I have to kill the Orlisks there, and I have to cleanse. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to gain one potion. Spend to remove up to two skills from any building. So I think I'm going to use that right now. Okay, so we're going to wrap up uh, this episode of Return to Dark Tower. So I'm just going to call this part one. Uh, but it's felt like a really good place to, uh, to stop it. And then we'll go on to the next one. But remember to uh, like and subscribe down below. I'll have part two out shortly. And uh, yeah, because I, I recorded everything together. So, uh, But it was a good place to stop uh, people to be, don't like usually uh, to watch videos over an hour. Uh, and I'll give my final thoughts as well uh, on the next one. But stay tuned. Uh, like and subscribe. And remember to uh, pledge to Destiny Aurora. The link is in the description below. Immerse yourself in the wildly successful Destiny Aurora universe. The release of the audiobook version marks the newest addition to the franchise. Follow the thrilling adventures of the starship Destiny Aurora and its crew as they hunt for the alien assassin who murdered Jace Carver's wife. Their epic confrontation will change Jace's life forever and keep readers guessing till the end. Go to the link below and listen to the first chapter absolutely free. And I'm excited to get everybody uh, to listen to the audiobook and uh, check out the graphic novel. So here's the graphic novel, uh, which is 150 pages. You can see how thick that is. It's uh, an entire story, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, is it going to continue or whatever else. Oh, and it's, this is the page I brought there. This is one of the best pages. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think everybody will have a lot of fun with it. But anyway, make sure you pledge to that, uh, Destiny Roar on Kickstarter. And uh, I have two pages left uh, after the two pages I just paid for, for coloring for Lords of L.A. So I'm going to be getting that out shortly. And then uh, we have, uh, I just got these in. This is the hardcover version of uh, Tales of Rabbit the Iron Witch. Uh, the 5E D&D &D module is going very, very well. Um, and I'm waiting to hear back from uh, Deborah Ann Walsh because she took a copy to read. Uh, but the hard covers came out real nice. Um, I just got this in like yesterday. Uh, I think it was Friday. So uh, so yeah, so we'll be getting out the uh, these real soon as well. Uh, the, the the paperbacks will be going out really really quickly. All right, thank you everybody for uh, for supporting the channel and let's keep us growing.